everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the collection system on the Gems of War database. This is ashtender.com slash gems slash collection, and I will have the link for it below. It is also available in a console version if you are on console as well, as well as every single language that currently exists within the game. So, what is this? This is basically a tool to help you figure out what trade stones you need, how, what souls you need, and basically just everything. If you really want to prioritize leveling up all of your troops, this is definitely a tool that you could use to assist it. First, all the way to the right, this is basically like the default page that you're going to be uh, introduced to. You will be able to manipulate it and save it. Uh, all you need to do is make an account, it only takes like a, a minute to do, and then you'll be able to save these. But what we have right here is every single trade stone required to level up every single troop and the souls required to level up every single troop, trade every single troop and just get them fully maxed out. That is what all these numbers here uh, represent. As you can see, it almost requires 2 million souls to get them all up. Uh, realistically, you will not be getting all of the troops upgraded in the game. This is mainly a tool to help you sort out and prioritize them rather than really go and try to get everything up. But the kind of uses that you will use this tool for is, of course, if you are a newer player, you can kind of see what every single trait stone you need for all the troops that you have and kind of prioritize your souls and trait stones from there. Because trait stone allocation is a pretty hard thing to do in this game because there's so many overlap between different troops, maybe on their minor trait stone, maybe on some other trait stone. And as you can see, there's kind of the running joke of uh, minor reds being the rarest trait stone in the game, even though they're uh, common, just like all these other ones. They take more than any other trait stone in the entire game in like almost like 300 more than the second highest. Uh, so it definitely requires a lot of minor reds to be able to get up anything. But let me go and show you how you can actually use this tool. For one, if you have like a couple troops that you've gotten recently, maybe like we got an um, alchemist, maybe we got an anointed one. Actually, we do on our Let's Play account. Maybe we're doing our Archon statue as well. You can actually mark all of these as your favorite and you'll be able to keep tracking these. Whenever you just click this to the other side, it'll just bring all of your favorites up to the top and then you can modify them from there. Maybe you got them to a higher ascension. You'll be able to do that, set whatever their level is. And whenever you change something, it will manipulate whatever the value is on the table so look at the red and everything else over there we actually set it up to three traits it will reduce all of them from this table we can even set if we want to how many we even have and quite a few other things with it so let's now head over to my actual data that i have so i can explain some things off of there uh let's just say for example this was actually the data that we wanted like what we currently have set up here the little bit of changes that we made like bringing these up and uh, just saying that we have all these already upgraded that to there whatever and uh it does take about an hour or two to do them out completely mine only took about 15 minutes because i already had them all but you can go over to the tools here there's quite a few tools that you can use uh mainly just for resetting and other things but there are two really notable one and that is export to uh csv and import from um CSV. What this will do is basically just make a Excel sheet that you can open up in Google Docs or Excel or any other program that could open it. So let's say that this is all the data that you wanted. You just click export and it would make a little file for you. What we're actually going to do is import the file that I already made from earlier. So we're going to import, go to the file that saves. I believe it just saves it as my collection by default. Of course, you can name it to whatever you want. And here we go. Here's my actual data for my main account as you can see we basically have everything that mythic basically everything up the only two we don't have is luther and uh tyree upgraded those are the last two and all the souls even though we do have the souls the reason why it's showing all the souls is because we do not have the ascension on some of them uh mainly just the newer troops we do not have all the way upgraded but as you can see this is a pretty easy tool uh to be able to use to see what you kind of need and need to keep getting you'll be able to easily use this um, to see uh, what kind of trait stones you may be needing and you can kind of see the effect on if you do trade something or not simply by manipulating the data and also you can edit your own values I just put a bunch of random values here but uh, you may notice that it is a white text now that means you actually do have enough based on whatever your values are but if we set that to something like let's say one and then we head back there's actually going to be red which means we do not have enough to afford it uh, but if we did have enough it would go back to the white value and you can also do this to search by kingdom let's just clear out all of our data real quick uh let's just reset all troops yes we'll reset it all our uh, file is already saved 
uh, separately, so we don't need to worry about that. But if you were to make changes to your file, you would have to resave it and uh, with the uh, exports. Um, and other than that, you can go over to your, uh, come on, click off the tools. There's still gonna be more features added to this as well. I'm basically just going over all the basics for this. But if we head over now to a specific kingdom, let's say Karakaroth, it's a Karakaroth week this week. We can see that we have every single thing up here as far as what Karakaroth uh, requires. And what we can do is uh, click this one over there and it says count hidden troops. So it's currently checked. So we're actually going to uncheck that right now. And now it'll bring up all of the data for just Karakaroth. So we can see now if we want to actually upgrade Karakaroth, all we would have to do is get all of these specific trait stones. The reason why this is important is because when you get it to five stars, you're going to be getting a extra uh, magic from it. So if you really want that magic, plus just upgrading specific kingdoms in general, will be getting you a lot of extra rewards, like extra tribute chance, more gold per day and everything like that. And we can see just what every single troop is. Of course, if we click on any of these, it'll bring up the page with all of its data on it. And uh, it's pretty useful in finding out pretty much anything we really need to know about this. And uh, we just come right back here. And um, we can just set whatever we want these to if we already have these up. Like, obviously, we'd have all these at Mythic if I was to set it to my own. Uh, really, really decent tool if you just want to keep tracking them and everything. And that is pretty much everything that I can think of to really show with this. Uh, there's a lot of ins and outs that you could really use this for depending on what your particular purpose is. Um, personally, I won't be using it too much as I basically already have everything upgraded in the game, but I might set it up for my Let's Play account. The only problem is we're doing it with an account that's not like all the way upgraded or um, doesn't or only has like a few things. It's really hard to do it. This sets this up if you're like midway through the game, mainly because you have to input a lot of data, like an hour or two. But just make sure you back up whatever your export is on your computer and then you'll always just be able to put it back in here this, this website does save it on your account but of course if anything ever goes wrong with the website you'll want to have a backup on your computer just so you already have it plus it makes it into an excel sheet anyways that uh, you can edit even without this um, website to assist it but anyways that will do it for this video if you have any other questions about this feel free to leave it in the comment section below i will be following the progress on this system and be using it occasionally i hope this will be helpful for you in allocating your trait zones of course if you have any questions about what you should and should not trade feel free to also leave that in the comment section below because it is probably the most complicated aspect of this entire game is how on earth do you allocate your trait stones and actually accumulate enough to get the trait stones that you want for things and it can be a little bit hard to uh, really figure out which ones are worth it and which ones are not but hopefully this tool will assist you some anyways thanks for watching and have a wonderful day